Have you heard this song before? Yeah. Raise your hands. Okay, so quite a few so heard this song. That's good. So whether you like this song or not, 24K Magic is too repetitive according to albumoftheyear.org. It repeats the same sound which is not being used in a meaningful or interesting way. And if it's not interesting, people will not like it, right? I'm not going to hate on Bruno Mars. He is a very talented artist. But it seems like Bruno Mars is using the formula which worked with Uptown Funk, the best song of the year in Grammys 2015. And he's not the only one. Uh, artists these days want to follow what works to get more money. I'm credible to say this because I have done my research and I listen to music since four years old. So, uh, my question is this. Have you ever been tired of the music on the radio? Uh, it sounds repetitive. They play the same songs over and over again. And repetitiveness is done on purpose, actually, because it's easier for people to remember the song that way. So they will end up buying it, right? But here comes the important part. While making money out of people, music industry makes us forget that people identify themselves with music, as Huffington Post suggests. Identity is not there. Music is not to hear. It is to feel, according to Board of Wisdom. People identify with themselves with music. For example, um, in your life, probably once uh, in your life, you have heard somebody saying, this song is definitely about me. Well, right now, there are not many songs in the radio you can relate to now. It's just not speaking about you. Well, almost everybody here listens to music, right? And majority of us know today's hits, hits, or at least heard of them. And according to Faster Louder, Music listeners are bored of radio hits. Human beings love to solve puzzles in their heads. Human beings don't want to solve this puzzle anymore once it is solved. In terms of music, it means once we are listening to the songs over and over again, it's just not interesting to us anymore. We want something new to solve. We want something new to figure out. So, so what do we need? Something fresh is needed. We need new sound. Lyrics that connect to our soul, excitement from the music, <coughs> something to relate yourself with, since music is our identity. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to present you the solution to our problem, which is John Bellion. He is an incredible art artist. You might ask, who is he? Like, why do we need to listen to him, right? Well, uh, all you have to know at this point that he makes dope music, okay? <laughs> Lyrics are so deep that any person will find something relatable and enjoyable for himself or herself. iTunes reviews can prove that too. Sounds incredible. He sounds fresh. His music brings joy to the listener. He sings. He creates the beat, the music, and the lyrics all by himself. I know that since I have watched the videos from YouTube, how he creates music. John Bellin's music is also considered pop, by the way, just like songs from the radio. But unlike those songs, John's music is not repetitive. Because every music listener can find something enjoyable to his or her ears, since there is a lot of genres mixed together in his albums. Pop, hip-hop, R&B, indie rock, jazz, you name it. His music is applicable to any state of mind, whether you are happy or you are trying to heal from a heartbreak. John is very passionate about his music. Uh, according to his interview uh, from the Aquarian Weekly, the interviewer uh, commented on John Bellin's uh, in this way. Bellin's true passion for his art is always evident in his actions. When uh, what he's working on clicks and it sounds exactly how he intended. I have never seen such genuine excitement <coughs> and passion before. And his hard work really pays off with the songs that come out of it and the hype his fans have created. So, John Bellin also makes beautiful artwork for his albums. For example, this is the last album of his, uh, The Human Condition. And every track on that album actually has uh, individual uh, covers. Uh, for example, the song I, Robert. Uh, I personally de deeply relate myself to that song because um, recently uh, my heart was broken when my girlfriend dumped me. 
and I was the exact representation of what these lyrics are saying. So let's re read these lyrics. I was a human, breathing and thinking, eating and drinking, philosophizing. I was a human before you killed me and ripped my heart out. I knew what love was. Now when they ask me, I just reply so and sound like an iPhone. I do not know love. I am a robot. Ba ba pam 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 ba da pam. The melody goes like that. Um, the, this lyrics came from Genius that time. So, uh, his merchandise uh, is amazing. Um, the delightful socks uh, with designs of each individual <coughs> track. So, as you see, I hope it is also there. Uh, so, I hope that I picked your interest on listening to him. Listen to John Bellin. Check him out. He is on YouTube. He is on Spotify. Uh, Pandora and in iTunes and I want to finish with uh, my friend's comment in here so Sam says there is music and there is John Bellin this guy has an, such an amazing voice and the team he's pulled together are so skilled that the songs on this album are absolutely unique and spread among so many different genres that anyone can enjoy at least a part of it if not all of it for those of us that have been following Bellin since early on this is something that surpasses all expectations. And for those who are just joining in, but welcome to something special. This is where music is made with emotion and soul rather than for fame. And it shows in this phenomenal piece of art that I would recommend for anyone who enjoys music in the slightest. Check it out. You won't regret it. Thank you. I really like what you did. Um, it's very different than all the other speeches, um, both in the content and in the delivery of the presentation. You were bold enough to do something that nobody else did. And like you went very, very specific and instead of speaking on a general thing. But by speaking so specifically on something, it allowed us to see a very like uh, more, you know, deeper parts of what you care about in yourself. I thought you had a very good speech, but I just didn't, I didn't hear your counter-argument to it. Oh, uh, yeah, it was like, um, even though it's repetitive, like, John Bellin's music is not repetitive. Uh, it's considered pop, just like the radio songs, right? Mm -hmm. But unlike uh, John Bellin's, but unlike them, John Bellin's music has a lot of to offer in his music. Like, there's a lot going on, and it's not repetitive. Uh, I like your energy. Uh, it was kind of came in a little bit slowly, but about like two minutes in, mm -hmm. it was much more engaging. Uh, yeah, we got a laugh out of the audience. You know, you, you showed you were a human being up there. So mm -hmm. Connect to that. Any other All right. Thanks, Bob. Bust the move.